It's for you from Biggie Nas and Tribe Called Quest after the break. Okay, here's my protein bread. I have two Jimmy Dean sausage patties. I have some zucchini and squash with some nutritional flakes. And then I have some scrambled eggs and little cheese and nutritional, nutritional flakes. This is my breakfast this morning. Oh, I have a pimple coming up. Oh my, oh my. When I'm at school, uh, picking up the grandson this evening. Um, I'm going to have one more meal this evening and I had quite decided what I'm going to have for breakfast. I had um, sausage and eggs, a piece of protein sparing modified fasting bread, and I made myself some zucchini and squash slices and just had that added to the meal also. I wanted to have a vegetable with it. So that is my breakfast. And I have this skin tag here. I've always had this. Look at how it looks. It looks like there's wax or something there, but it's just a skin tag. <laughs> okay. This was my second meal of the day. It was so delicious. I made me some chicken wings, uh, naked chicken wings in the air fryer. And my daughter made some cabbage. It was so good. Um, it has peppers in it and it has the bacon and it's seasoned so good. I don't know everything she put in there, but I really enjoyed my evening meal today. Another meal that I really enjoyed having um, another day this week was some cheesy Brussels sprouts. And I had a hot link um, that I just cut up with that. And then I had... Um, Still a little bit of uh, chicken left, so I put a little piece of that with it. It was so good and so delicious. And as you can see, really simple to make. Remember, to so I'm starting my day having some chicken broth. This is all I have left, and I've added some turmeric to this, and I'm getting ready to add in some cayenne pepper, a little bit of Himalayan pink salt. Okay, find something to start your day with. Have a great day and be prepared for the weekend. Do yourself a meal prep or have you something in the refrigerator. Remember, when you get hungry, you want to have something available for you to eat. So today is Saturday and today is... Okay, today is the 16th. Today is an 18-hour fast, regular keto day, and a walk. So, um... Work your fast in at however you like. Um, and remember that boiled eggs are a good protein and fat source for keto. You need at least two and a half teaspoons daily of sodium. Plan your meals ahead of time. Eat to meet your protein goal, not your fat or carb goal. Stay away from packaged keto foods. Use intermittent fasting. good i love chicken i love chicken broth i also love um seasoning it the way that i like i like to add in a lot of extra stuff to it sometimes i add in ginger i have a little bit of cayenne pepper um but you can make it as good as you like and chicken broth has a lot of benefits um it it feels it i find it to be very filling um between my meals so and it tastes very good also so on this morning, I had some fried eggs along with um, some of that new bacon that they have. It really tastes good. Sausage bacon and zucchini. And I'm going to give you information about this meal afterwards at the end. I have it in my car manager review. But I hope you're eating good, delicious meals also. I'm going to go ahead and do my carb review from yesterday. Yesterday was a protein sparing modified fasting day, a high protein keto day. And I chose to do protein sparing modified fast. However, I know I, I should have had a little bit more protein than I did yesterday. However, my carbs and everything were well, I'm going to go ahead and review what I did. For breakfast, and I had breakfast around 11 o'clock. 
and what I had was some keto enchiladas. I had a serving of that, which was about 246 calories and 1.9 carbohydrates. I had a piece of protein spray modified fasting bread, which was 32 calories and 0 0.4 grams of carbs. I made some uh, keto coffee. I usually leave my MCT oil out of my keto coffee now because I like for, um, you know, for my body to use its own fat. Sometimes I will put in the MCT oil. It just depends on what my intentions are for the day. Um, I had a tablespoon of pecans, which were about 48 calories, 0 0.9 grams of carbs. And then my cup of coffee without the MCT oil was 77 calories and 3.5 grams of carbohydrates. So for, for breaking my fast, I had 403 calories and 6.8 grams of carbohydrates for my breakfast. For dinner, I forgot about what time I had dinner. It probably was about 6, 6.30. But for dinner, I had some more of the keto meatloaf, 3.5 ounces, um, 439 calories, 1.6 grams of carbohydrates, a piece of the protein spray modified fasting bread, one slice for 32 calories, 0 0.4 grams of carbs, and I had Diet Pepsi with that, which was zero for everything. Now, my total protein for today was 78.5 and normally I like to get that up like right around a hundred grams of protein um, when I'm doing a protein sparing day. Um, my total carbs for the day was 8.8 .8 and let's see this says my total calories was 874. So it was a, a pretty good day as far as protein sparing modified fast. I did stay within my guidelines um so there is everything right there okay here are my totals my total protein was 78.5 fat 57.8 total carbs 8.8 .8, calories 874 Today, well, uh, yesterday I did weights and walking, which was uh, steps, and this is how my pie chart looked. I also have an example of my pie chart that I'm going to post right after this. Okay, hope I've given you some good information. Um, I would have liked my fat to be a little bit lower, under 50, and my, like I said, my protein, I'd like for it to be just a little bit higher up to at least... 100 or 99 grams those are my numbers if you haven't already subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button like share and comment mm -hmm.